Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to get Champions of Norath, the EverQuest game on PS2, to work with your PCS X2 emulator, or more specifically how to make it not lag so much when you're around two fires, or multiple fires, multiple enemies, or golems. A few other things cause a uh, very, like, very, very, very bad frame rate in this game. As you can see, I'm not lagging that bad around these fires. If I turn on my turbo speed, I can also turbo speed around the fires. Usually if, uh, with the issue, you'll, like, the game will be lagging so much that you can't even tell turbo speed is on around fires, but you can definitely tell it's on when I use it. So, in order to fix this, what you need to do is you need to go into the PCS X2 settings, and specifically to, I think it's video right here, plugin settings. So you'll get this screen right here. So right here at the top, renderer, you want to make sure this is set to Direct 3D 11 software. In the newer versions, this usually fixes it. Uh, this is what fixed it for me. However, let's say you have this set to something else for whatever reason it may be. Like, uh, oops, not that one. There we go. Uh, I was using OpenGL hardware because I needed to use this for, I think, a Jack and Dexter game. So this is what it was originally at, and this is what you can do if you're using a different, uh, a different hardware. You go to Advanced Settings and Hacks right here. You'll see it, Enable HW Hacks. Click on this, and it will bring up this additional screen for you to look at right here. So there's uh, specifically one thing in here we want to draw our attention to, which is Fast Texture Invalidation right here. So uh, you'll notice at the bottom here it says it helps snowblind engine games. This is a snowblind engine game. This uh, feature was made specifically for games that are like this and for this issue that you're experiencing with these games. So make sure that is enabled. And that is the only thing you would need to have enabled in here. Uh, and that is if you are using the OpenGL hardware um, or any other hardware aside from the uh, the Direct 3D 11 software. Using the Direct 3D 11 software will fix the uh, will fix the issue in my personal experience. Otherwise, those are uh, that is another thing that you can potentially do to fix it. I've heard that uh, changing the skip draw radius will fix the issue as well, but I wouldn't recommend that too much. Uh, I would recommend the fixes that I brought up in this video. So as you can see, we get a little bit of chugginess around the fire, but it's not too bad. It it the game is playable which is what matters most, right? Because in the original state, I would argue that it was not very playable without those uh, without those fixes enabled. But anyway, that's all there is to it. You can see even with four fires on the screen right now, we're doing pretty good. Let me uh, turbo on. And you can see the, the turbo speed isn't quite up to snuff still. I'm still running at kind of base speed. Like, let me show you when I zoom in and get less fires on the screen. You can see I pick up in speed quite a bit. So you still will have to deal with some choppiness, but for the most part, it does get rid of the problem. And anyway, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it taught you guys some stuff. If it did, be sure to leave me a like because that helps me out. And I will catch you guys around in future gaming videos. Peace.